Hey, this is MassX with a new My Hero Ultra Impact video, and we got dropping today our newest, our second Impact Fest hero, and of course, you're probably already aware that it is Todoroki, and however you want to refer to him as Fantasy or Heroes Assemble. In either case, we have a new character. In the background is my poll video. I timed it by two because it was so horrific. It actually did not go to pity, but close enough. But I guess I should reiterate, horrific isn't probably proper. It was horrific for pulling Todoroki, but nine or 10 URM memories dropped and another two UR characters dropped. It was just the elusive Shoto Todoroki that was a problem. So when I finish up going over him, I am gonna go ahead and show you him completed, fully built. What I've got going on him, I have built him up already. I was really excited for him. I've done a little minor testing and I gotta say I'm a little disappointed. But again, I hate to say that so early on because I would like to give it another couple days and see if maybe it was just the team he was with or whatever memories I was trying at that time. But as you're probably aware, you know, his plus ultra skill deals 600% damage to a single opponent. Skill impact increases by 40% when landing a critical hit, decreases the opponent's defense by 30% for three turns. Also reduces character's action skill cooldown time by two. On paper, he reads really good. His uh, action skill, Ice Fog, deals 350% damage to a single opponent. High chance, 70% of giving Frostbite, which is just crazy, that high of a percentage, to the opponent for three turns. Increases critical hit rate of all allies by 20% for three turns when used in a successfully executed skill chain. And gives all allies a barrier that nullifies one hit when used in a second or later successfully executed skill chain. Cool down on that one, six turns, kind of high, but that's why you get a little bit of the break with the other one with the skill cooldowns, I'm guessing. Um, his other action skill, Ice Block, deals 225% damage to all opponents, medium chance, 40% of freezing, all opponents for one turn. Also decreases the opponent's speed by 20%, which I absolutely love for three turns when using the successfully executed skill chain, and that one's got a cooldown of uh, five turns. Um, auto skills increases critical hit rate, which is always nice, especially for VE Tower. Of all allies by 30% when character has barrier. Gives character a barrier that nullifies two hits after receiving three attacks from an opponent whose speed is decreased up to three times. Multi-hit attacks only equal one attack. I'll be curious to see how difficult that really is to pull off. The other out of skill, cool and hot, every time a critical hit is made, increases critical hit rate of all allies by 5%, up to 10 times and increases the character's plus ultra gauge by 10%. I mean, on paper, he reads just absolutely sick, which you would expect given um, the Midoriya and the Bakuga, our anniversary characters. So I just threw him in today a little bit after I built him in, he was playing a bit of the glass cannon for me. I normally use World Heroes Todoroki in my very last slot. It's been effective for the team I use. So I just flipped him out there. And i definitely not sure if he's going to be that end gamer. And now reading through his stuff again, I'm, that probably makes sense. He's probably going to be better... Uh, in your front three or that fourth slot, but definitely not fifth slot, I'm starting to think, especially after rereading this again. But I'm gonna keep messing around with him because he, he I mean, let's be honest, our, uh, most Todorokis are all above average or, or great characters in the game. So I have a hard time believing, especially one that is for their Impact Fest would be a lacking character so it's probably more me than him and i will air to that but 
I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the breakdown. As I said, let me know if you are gonna be pulling for him or not, where you plan on using him, what type of team. I'd be really curious because we're getting flooded with some really good characters right now. So it's getting more and more difficult. I'm hoping it's gonna really change up the meta. I brought that up when I was talking about All Might when I was pulling for him. Speak of the devil, there he is. So now that I got to the part where he got pulled, let's go ahead and just take a quick look. Uh, you guys don't need to see his stats. You already know his stats. I've got him fully up all the way across. The big question is gonna be where he ranks with everybody. So for HP, he is clocking in right there in that number two spot. So HP, he is on the top of the curve with everybody. This is the one that shocked me. For power, he is number one. Pretty crazy stuff. And you can see right there, you know, uh, some of our most recent characters, they're basically the first four slots and he is taking over that slot one. Speed is where he definitely drops back a bit. As you can see, he's not, he's clocking in at least with the characters I have in the 10th spot. So he does take a, a few steps back when it comes to speed to some of the other characters. And for battle power, he is number two. He is right there. So he is definitely a force. I mean, stat wise, he is right there. I might have taken a trade off in some other areas for a bit more speed, but I guess we'll have to compensate with uh, memory or how the team is built. And that's kind of one of the things I've been finding, um, trying to find that perfect mesh. I really want to, to not use the standard team setups that have been going around because we are kind of forced to, but um, finding the right fit, and it may not be, it may not be able to play all of them but it would be damn fun to have a whole different team of completely new characters. I've actually started working on some of the older characters to see if maybe they might become more productive with some of these newer units as a support base. But as I get um, some testing going, I'll show you some videos. I'm also gonna upload my All Might one just to show he's been an absolute wrecking ball against certain teams and has been pretty fun to play. With that, as always, please like and subscribe. It helps so much. Let me know if you're going to pull for him. Let me know what teams you're thinking about using him on. Or let me know if you are doing a hard pass on this since there was two banners this week. Everybody, hope you're having a great day. Take care.